jamming like quite a lot. We've been jamming like for a couple of years, playing at like uh, campfires that we go out camping and stuff. So just playing covers that people knew, yeah. singing along, and then we've got different people coming up, sort of thing, and just see everyone's around. Like, and then we kind of figured that actually it wasn't as difficult as we thought to write our own songs. Steve, they've been playing with us for a while, like jamming at, at parties and stuff, and so we convinced him to come up. And then same with Pete, he'd been coming up to some of the jams before. So he came along and did drums and some banjo. Yeah, and then you already had a few songs written. Yeah, yeah. Banjo is a bit of a new thing for me. <laughs> yeah, you picked it up pretty quick when you picked it <laughs> Like everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. I think we probably take inspiration from bands, but I think our environment definitely influences what our taste, maybe, or what we. I don't know, our style of playing, I think. The vibe of the band, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, laid back, but upbeat. But because we've got like a big range of influences, I think, because we all like different sorts of music and then lots of the same sorts of music as well, so everyone brings our own slant to it and stuff. I think that's what gives us that like diverse sound. I don't think we've got a particular style necessarily. No. I think we've got to jump around because of all the things that we like, and that kind of influences how we play, I guess. Everyone's kind of got their roles, everyone knows what they're doing a little bit and what they can add. And so we try and mix it up, we try and switch instruments up and kind of get people doing, taking the lead on different songs and kind of trying to showcase everybody. It's not about one person, we've always been a collective, like wherever, whenever we've played, it's just whoever's been there originally and kind of whatever they can play, just join in, see what you can do. And kind of we like to do that. I think it keeps it interesting for us as them as well. Yeah. Mix it up. Yeah. So and we're kind of adding new things all the time, thinking, oh, what about this sort of sound? What instrument could we get? And then kind of learning it on the hoof a little bit. <laughs> it's all right, though. It's quite, yeah. It seems to work. I mean, every time we play it, it's like, oh, can we do that? Or can you add a little bit there? And I think the more we play it, the kind of... We'll end up with a solid kind of finish, but I think everyone is always adding new stuff. The better you get, or the more ideas you get. And also, by jamming two times a week, we're always playing, so everyone's, well, I think, coming along. Throwing yourself in at the deep end, innit? And then yeah. meet, meeting the target. That's what we've done with most of the gigs. Like, it was pretty, I think it was yeah. a bit like scary to begin with, if I'm honest, because yeah. we're like, right, we haven't actually ever played in front of anyone, and now we've got Volks Fest. We so. really liked what we were playing ourselves, but then we were like, oh, what if no one else? Like, yeah. yeah. And that's the thing, and then we sort of, we've been putting off gigging and saying, oh, yeah, no, we'll, like in a couple of weeks, we just need to finish this off, we need to finish that off, and like, you can do that forever. I think we set ourselves a date of playing our first gig. And then sort of worked like pretty hard the weeks leading up to it, and kind of got everything we needed. That pressure, I think, to yeah, finish it, because we would have just kept going. Yeah. Oh, next week, it's next week, to get things done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a deadline. Yeah, and so yeah, we, it's kind of kick-started it. We had three gigs in our first two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then a little hiatus, and now uh, we're back on it again. Excited about Volks Fest, though. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be amazing. It's fun, like actually, like playing music with your mates. Though, like we were saying, even if 
but we'll still be doing this in like 10, 15 years, even if people move away and people change and things happen, we'll all be still strumming away. Yeah. And kind of like, it's going to be part of your life, whether, you know, yeah, whether anyone wants to watch you or not. Now, I think the, the way it, like the music scene kind of is around this way, you know, it's quite laid back. There's lots of like little places you can go play, like whether you've got all the right equipment and stuff, you can just turn up your guitars and have a, a, you know, strum with like-minded people. And that makes it easier because you're never worried about like how it's going to sound, I guess, or like how you're going to come off because it's just like a real laid back kind of relaxed vibe anyway. Yeah. Like just the, the area. And I think that influences the music. You know, we all try and keep it upbeat and positive. What's coming out of Devon at the moment is seems to be pretty popular. Yeah, the, the, the relaxed vibe of it all, though. Yeah, yeah. I think does have a big influence. Yeah, you can definitely like someone was saying to you at about like there's a southwest sound. You can kind of yeah, tell yeah. where people yeah. are from. It really sounds like South Devon music. So we get that, don't you? Get different scenes like there's like Manchester sort of sound that comes out. Of yeah, yeah. There or like I don't know Liverpool and stuff. Everywhere's got their own sound. I think you're influenced by your environment. You can't help yeah. but be. No, yeah, of course. And I think yeah, our music's pretty free and laid back because that's kind of the lifestyle that you can you can have, like living in this sort of area. And I think that's a real influence. We can get away from things quite easily, depending on what you like. You know, you've got the moors, you've got the beach, you've got kind of like open spaces. You don't you woodland, pasture, rivers, everything. Really yeah, and if you want the city thing, you can. It's not actually that far away to get it. And I think that probably shows in the variety of our music because you're kind of influenced by so many different things. Laid back then. So they're always looking forward to the next jam. <laughs>